is Adam Lucero, and I'm from San Diego, California. All right, Adam, what is your business? I help male entrepreneurs kill procrastination so they grow their business. So you sell like a course or a coaching program for entrepreneurs that are men? Yeah, essentially. I have different levels, so one-to-one -one program group and then the course version. But In 30 seconds, pitch me your offer. I will help you kill procrastination forever in 30 to 90 days so you wake up excited to grow your business and take it to new revenue heights that you haven't before. The best part, you'll never fall back into your old patterns again and you don't be relying on your willpower. And do you think that was good? Probably could be better, I'm guessing from your question right there. Yeah, it sucked. So we're, we're, we're going to make it better. <laughs> okay. Um, it's just vanilla paste, man. It's like, I saw this comedian recently. He was talking about how he knows for sure that Spanish food is better than white food because mm -hmm. white people constantly want to eat Spanish food, but no mm -hmm. Spanish person wants One. to eat white food, right? Mm -hmm. It's just sucks. It's bland. It's garbage. <laughs> there's no spice. And that's what your pitch was. It was white people food. It was Got bland, it. spiceless, microwave dinner. Blech, okay. And so okay. we're going to add some spice to it. Okay. It wasn't Let's like dysfunctional or terrible. It was just, it could have a lot more spice. I got it. Yes. Let's do it. So before we get into that, and I'm going to give you a pitch. I'm literally going to repitch your offer for you. My question is, how much are you making right now with this business? Essentially 25K revenue, 20K cash collected off 10K ad spend was the last 30 days, essentially. So you're spending $10,000 on uh, Facebook advertising? Yeah, that in combination with uh, some paying someone to do some of the triage calls. But yeah, totals to 10K in cost. And then it did about 20K cash collected and then 5k more to be collected still well, that's a pretty good percentage of, of cash collected to revenue so i like that so the numbers i just spoke about we did that a few months ago so the, oh, of course uh, you did <laughs> well i turned it off because the issue you turned off something that was doubling its money yeah well mainly because i was getting so many unqualified people because it wasn't it was very broad as before i was working well, well, stop me. stop Back up. You're spending $10,000. You're doubling it. So you're effectively making $10,000 net per month. And you stopped it because why? Wrong terminology. So basically, I switched to us targeting because at that point, it wasn't entrepreneurs. It's just men in general. So I was getting lots of unqualified people, let alone I was selling them for like th like 3K for a very one-to-one -one intense time energy consuming program. So I was just trying to target entrepreneurs, but I've been struggling to bring them in. Okay. Take all that mess and put okay. it into one sentence. You were spending 10000 You're doubling your money. Two to one mm -hmm. return. And you stopped it. Why? Because I blank. What is blank? Because I want to target entrepreneurs so that I can charge significantly more for my services. You were doing a productivity coaching program for just people? For men. And the men that you got into it that paid that money weren't entrepreneurs? Some of them were, some weren't. Again, at this point, I was just very broad helping men kill procrastination. But over the course of working with them, I've realized the entrepreneurs are the ones I like working with the most and I can they can pay me more because- But some of them were entrepreneurs. Some of them were, but a lot of them were not. What were the ones that bought? What were they? Were they executives? Oh, so, I mean, it was a very wide range. Most of, a lot of them were at like career- just like a normal nine to five career. So let me get this straight. You got somebody who is at a career where if they were more productive, they would potentially make more money, move their way up the corporate ladder, whatever, versus somebody who's an entrepreneur. And you were making money from these people and you decided for some weird reason that you're just not going to sell it to them? I mean, I'm just trying to work with entrepreneurs so I can make even more money. You think that that's what's going to make you more money. If somebody has the money to pay you, I just don't understand. Like, why would you just not make the money? You just gave up 10 grand a month for no reason. Yeah, I mean, to your point, yeah. See, I totally see your point. Making money should keep it's doing it. It's not my it. point. It's math. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I'm saying the entrepreneurs I work with, I'm able to charge 7K versus the 3K. So if I can bring them into the funnel, it'd be plus the amount of time and energy I'm showing up for these calls. Did you try just saying 7K on, on the call with the old funnel? Yeah. And what happened? Non-entrepreneurs are just like, what? like not even, can't even possibly do that no matter what type of thing. And then so I, the, I started going down in price, obviously, after working out all the real objections. But what I'm, what I'm failing to understand is why did you mm -hmm. stop spending money? Oh, sorry. So I didn't stop spending money. I just switched up the ads. So then the cost per lead went up a ton. But uh, the issue was I still was getting, I was getting more entrepreneurs, but still early stage entrepreneurs. So to your point, I've, I never stopped spending the money. I just switched the ads. So last 30 days, what did you make? So that would be about 10K off about 12K. So the numbers were not nearly as good. 
but I didn't do a good job with the ads as well. So, so you spent 12K, you made 10, you lost money. Correct. Okay. And is that because you switched the, the advertising, who you were speaking to, only to entrepreneurs versus normal people, or Correct. just everyday guys? Okay. Yeah. Cost right. per lead went up a ton. Did you send me that bank statement? Yep. Oh, at least you have, thank God you have Chase, for the love yep. of God. <laughs> Finally, no more Bank of America. Ugh, don't even get me started. Okay. $13,000. In deposits and fifteen thousand dollars in withdrawal, so that that's about two grand. So that that's in alignment with what you're saying. Is this a business account or a personal? Yeah, business. Account? I've been watching your YouTube. You even got my merchant account because I know that's going to be the next one. <laughs> yes, like a real boy. Thank God. All right. So Stripe, Stripe. Ah, oh, but he's yeah. using Stripe. Uh, Recently got my merchant account. So yeah. Okay. Looking to not use Stripe anymore, though. All right, so there's not a bunch of crap on here. You're not spending money. You're not spending $200 a week on Starbucks and sugary lattes that'll just make you fat and have, make sure no one wants to have sex with you. So that's good. <laughs> All right, I want to dive into your big... I'm going to look in a moment at your website, your funnel, your advertising. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind putting some of those links in the chat. But I want to understand what the real problem is here, sir. Because there's something mm -hmm. not adding up. So what did you charge before? So if they're entrepreneurs, I've been doing 5 to 7K. If they're non-entrepreneurs, I start at 5K, but typically they can only get to 3K. What's your close rate on the phone? It's about 30, like 32%. How do you know it's 32%? Because I have a Google sheet that tracks it. So you do track it, my man. Thank God. What do you think the biggest problem preventing you from making more money with this is? Being able to attract entrepreneurs that are already doing at least 10K a month. If I was able to do that, I would be able to charge 7,500, 10K for my offer because the few entrepreneurs that I've had that have that revenue, we make so much more money because of a result of killing procrastination. There's a better ROI for them. If they kill procrastination, they, yeah, they see a direct. Significantly better. Got it. Wouldn't that also move to other people outside of entrepreneurs as well? Like maybe like sales managers and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. We've even some of our best students have been sales managers and et cetera. So yes, you are totally right. All right. I want to, do you have an ad of what you were doing the first time when it was working and it was doubling your money? And then do you have an ad of what you're doing now? Yep. I'm about to pull up your landing page on this screen and I'm going to go step by step through everything. I'm going to go through your ad, all of that. I have one question to ask you before I do. Mm -hmm. What is your why? What is the reason you're doing this business? What's the reason you want to make money? Because the transformation my clients get is unparalleled. Like from where they were to after they work with me, they literally feel like they're invincible, that they can accomplish whatever they set their minds to. Like it's an entirely different person. And then because of that, they just accomplish so many different things in their life. I see the success, but it's really the transformation they have inside. Like they'll tell me like you transform my entire life. Like I've had students cry before because they're like, you've literally helped me so much. So that's my why. Like I just light up like a Christmas tree helping students. And I know lots of coaches say that, but obviously- A lot of, a lot of coaches say they'll help you make $10,000 a month <laughs> and they don't even make 500. So, you know, yeah, I, I, yeah. I feel you there. That's a good why. You're not a douchebag. I appreciate that. Which one is this for? Is this one for the normal people or for the- Yeah, this is for the normal people when I was running it to them. Okay, got it. Tired of procrastination, pummeling your goals, confidence, and freedom to the floor. Feel like you've wasted countless years of your life let down, and let down your loved ones, resulting in you beating yourself up mentally and being full of stress, anxiety, and overwhelm. Fear that you'll live a life of regret if you don't become the man you have the potential to be. Well, that doesn't have to be your story. You can trick your brain into effortlessly taking action. Download my free guide. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. And then the free guide. And is this now the new one? No, this is still the, the old funnel is still okay. intact. So this I is trick your page. brain. Yeah. So this is very mass market, you know, yep. blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. And then you get the pop up. All right. So then let's look at the new one. So this is the new one. Yep. Correct. Free training for entrepreneurs at 10 K a month. Just so you understand, just because you say on your landing page, this is only for you if you're at 10K a month does not mean yep. you're going to get mm -hmm. people who are only at 10K a month. Because number one, people don't read. And number two, people who are, who are entrepreneurs who are making $500 a month, they're like, well, if I killed procrastination, I'd, I'd make 10 grand a month. So this frame mm -hmm. sucks. Okay. okay. Because look at this. How to trick your brain to kill procrastination forever and effortlessly take action in 30 days so you quickly grow your business. This right here says you're not at 10K a month. 
This is normal people speak. This is you, you suck, life is terrible, you have no girlfriend, or your girlfriend left you for the guy that's an assistant manager at McDonald's because he's making more money than you. This is not a headline for people mm -hmm. that are making 10 grand a month. You understand that, right? Now I do. A headline would be something like, are you losing five figures a month in your business due to procrastination? I see, I see how that one's much more potent. Like, why are we killing procrastination? Just to mm -hmm. say so? Just to be like, yay, no, we're doing it so that we get more done, so that we make more money. And our lack of focus, our lack of productivity is costing us money, which mm. means there's a direct ROI. But if you say how to, tr first of all, trick your brain, this the only people, normies fall for this. How to trick your brain. This is for normies. <laughs> this is for people yeah. who are just Joe Schmo the rag man, mm -hmm. okay? Who just go through life accepting mediocrity and are just normal holes, okay? This is not for someone who has at least got to the 10K a month mark mm -hmm. and who is significantly losing shit. This is for the person who's losing money because they're not getting anything done. They're not even getting their business started. That's, that's the frame here. Now, if you are making 10 grand a month, yeah, maybe this headline will attract you, but for me, it would just, I would just be like, this guy's, yeah, okay, trick your brain, okay, whatever, right? Yeah, gotcha. But if it said, are you losing more than $10,000 a month in revenue due to procrastination mm -hmm. or due to lack of productivity? Now, I got something else for you that I'm going to tell you in a minute that could 10x your business, by the way. Maybe you've thought of this, maybe you haven't, but mm -hmm. it's something I would absolutely do. You could charge six figures for this offer if you do this. Would you like to charge six figures for it? I'd love that. I'm going to tell you that here in a minute. But first, without resistance, internal battles, replying relying on your willpower or falling back in your self-sabotage, blah, 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 blah. See, this is normie speak, right? Like, you got to think about what people think of that mm -hmm. are the upper echelon entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, I truly believe that productivity is a much better use of the word for those people than procrastination. Because normally people who are upper echelon entrepreneurs, they don't view themselves as procrastinators. They just think they need help with productivity. Mm. Procrastination sounds like you're just some douchebag. I'll split test them for sure. Well, of course, that's the answer. But I'm, I'm picking it apart based okay. on what I could see potentially being the issue, right? There's one other thing I'd like to say that would give you more information because actually John Whitting helped me create new ads. He took a look at this like a day or two ago and he gave me some feedback on the ad itself. So I've recreated it with his feedback and it appears to be attracting in those types of people. We have a, if you click the button, it shows the form and they fill out how much they make. Uh, it gives you a, yeah. a range. So it seems like we might be attracting them, but I haven't hopped on the call of a few booked for tomorrow. So we'll see. Well, show me the ad that wasn't working. So you're self-employed. <laughs> Dude, you're self-employed. <laughs> really? Well, I thought that would help because we're getting lots of non-entrepreneurs. But yeah. I, I self-employed <laughs> is not an entrepreneur. It's like a tradesman. When you identify as an entrepreneur, right, or you're a mm -hmm. business owner, there's an implication that you have people, you have things like staff. But self-employed means that you are my brother, Johnny, who does handyman work on the side. That's self-employed. I would okay. never, ever in a million years, if you called me self-employed, I would punch mm -hmm. you in the face. That is gotcha. like, that is offensive to a real entrepreneur. <laughs> okay. It's offensive to call a, an entrepreneur self-employed is a slap in the face. It's like the time when I called my Turkish wife Middle Eastern and I learned real quick, Turkish people do not want to be called Middle Eastern. Okay. Right off the bat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right off the bat. And you already quit your nine to five. Again, like you're talking to normies. A real entrepreneur is not even thinking about his nine to five job that he quit. Yeah. Come on, man. Very good point. Yep. You handed in that resign how <laughs> to get it again. <laughs> yeah. So you're you're going after noobs, okay? Yeah, that's what John Whitting did. And then again, he made it pretty clear to me the mistakes I was making. So is it similar feedback? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. John's <laughs> that's a smart laughing. guy. He also was a client of mine for like three years. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Superhuman CEO. Oh, the first thing I've seen from you that makes any sense at all is mm -hmm. the brand. Superhuman CEO. For the love of God, thank God. That makes <laughs> 
That that's the only thing I've seen that makes any sense in this whole <laughs> mess. Do the last six months in your business look like this? Twenty k, thirty two k, twenty eight k, forty five k, thirty eight k. Why are you limiting it to this? You don't think I there's have, people who make three hundred k? I oh. now do think so, only because the, uh, the answers I'm getting on the form. So yes, it's very limiting, and I should adjust it. See, now what you're doing is you're like you went from. Hey, person with no money to, hey. <laughs> I'm capping myself at a Person with a little level. money. <laughs> you got a little money. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Yet you know you, hold on a second. Just so you know, you know this is bullshit, right? In what aspect? Because you went from making 10K a month to making negative 2K. And I'm assuming yeah. you don't have a problem with procrastination. So it's bullshit. It's your advertising. What do you looking at we'll your see. whole pitch is the reason you're not making money is because you're procrastinating that's who i'm trying to attract to work with because those are the clients i've had the most success with understood but the the, the pitch the mechanism sucks because you're saying anybody that has a brain knows that's bs right you can't tell me that the reason i'm not making if i saw this ad i'd be like no the reason i'm not making money right now is because i'm capped because i can't find people who are productive i can't find good employees or somebody mm -hmm. else might say i know my offer sucks or so like there's a million things that somebody could say to argue with you and say no mm -hmm. that's not the case okay so don't give them the opportunity in other words would you agree if you and your employees were even 20% more productive, you would make a lot more money in your business. Can you disagree with that? No. You can't, you have to agree, because it yep. makes sense. But if I say the reason why you didn't make more this month was because of procrastination and your willpower, I'm gonna think you're an idiot. I'm gonna be like, no, that's crap. Mm. I have this specific problem in my business. I have this specific issue. My mm -hmm. Facebook ad account got, what are you gonna do if somebody's Facebook ad account got shut down and they see this ad? What do you think they're gonna say? They're gonna think you're an idiot because their Facebook ad account got shut down, right? That's why they're not making money. Don't give them an opportunity to disagree. You get, do you see what I'm saying? Yes, yes. May I make a suggestion? Make as many as you think would benefit me. All right, so. First of all, when you when you throw numbers out like that, it does put mm -hmm. you on the radar for getting your Facebook ad account shut down. Okay. Because they don't like that. That's number yep. one. Number two, you don't need to say numbers. If I have employees, I got to be making money, right? Mm-hmm. Well, who has employees that's not making 10 grand a month? Yeah, not many entrepreneurs. Right. So if you say, do you struggle to make more revenue because you or your employees are yeah. not productive as they could be? Now... Mm -hmm. When you get them on the call, not only can you sell them the program, but you could sell a company-wide mm. program. So if they happen to have 10 employees and you charge $3,000 per employee, that's $30,000. I really like where your head's at. <laughs> if each employee was just 20% more productive, how much revenue do you think your business would make, John? How much more? Oh, we would probably make at least $50,000 a month more. Really? $50,000? Well, let's bring out the old calculator, shall we? <laughs> All right. Well, $50,000 a month times 12 is $600,000. Let me ask you, John, if we cut that in half to $300,000, would a $30,000 investment in your people be worth it to make $300,000? Yes, it would. Now you just made a $30,000 sale instead of nice. a $5,000 sale. Perfect. So the point is, go after the big fish, man. Go after the big fish. You want to find the right people? Talk about things the right people. This is the biggest, mis biggest mistake people make, okay? Let me give you the version. This is the dumb version, and this is the smart version. The mm. dumb version is, are you this person? Click my link, and you just think you're going to get that person. Mm -hmm. versus the smart way to do it, which is I'm only going to talk about things that the right person would care about. Do you see the difference? Yep, 100%. If you talk about the pain points of having employees and I don't have employees, why do I care? Yeah. Yep. But if you say, hey, you know you have a seven-figure business inside of you, Normie. <laughs> Let's all walk on fire and do spirit fingers. That I could be broke living out of a box and I would still click the link and okay. I'd still book a call and I'd still waste your time. Yep. You get me? But if you that talk about sense. things that only somebody who you want would relate to. Got it. Boom. Okay. Who are you targeting on this? What are you doing with your targeting? Uh, it's, uh, I went to the detail targeting and did some entrepreneurs. Uh, I can double check it here, though. You want a tip on Facebook ad targeting that nobody knows? Yep. 
Facebook started using AI in their targeting and all their stuff. If you create an ad with no targeting, the Facebook AI will eventually figure out the right audience and do a better job than if you tried to get all specific mm -hmm. in the targeting. I've launched ads for something so specific open. as how to write a lead magnet Yep. to no targeting, and mm -hmm. it's literally getting me cheaper cost per sales than if I was like, entrepreneur, also married, digital marketing, likes yeah, Russell Brunson. Yeah, super, de super defined. Yeah. Right. So that's a little tip for you. Just use Facebook's AI. It's smarter than you. Okay, got it. The one reason I actually checked it off, I'm, I guess, apparently stupidly, but when I ran it last with it, it was going for people outside of my age and going for women and stuff too, but I'll give it a go again with better ad copy. Can I be real honest with you? Yep. The copy's kind of feminine. Okay. <laughs> it's feminine, bro. It's it it looks like a chick wrote it. Okay. It does. It's not masculine. Okay. So if you want to attract mask you want to attract men, make it masculine. Here, you want to make your copy more masculine or more feminine, right? Yep. Here's what you do. Take your copy, paste it into ChatGBT, use ChatGBT4. Say on a scale of 1 to 10, how masculine is this? Mm -hmm. And it'll say it'll give you a number, right? Like four and yep. then you say make it a 10 and watch it rewrite it mm -hmm. don't say is this masculine or feminine because the developers that made chat gbt are a bunch of liberal assholes and they'll be like well there's no such thing as masculine or feminine." <laughs> <laughs> okay so you got to trick its little liberal ai brain and <laughs> get out of it what you need <laughs> got All it right, let's look at your socials instagram's going to be adam lucero then the number one Stabbed and nearly murdered in a movie theater? What the f yep. What is that? Someone came up behind me in a movie theater with a chef knife, stabbed me halfway in my throat, punctured my lung, and deepened my arm almost out the other side. That's messed up, but why is it in your Instagram bio? I figured it'd just catch attention, get them to look at the next, but... Maybe. Kill procrastination forever in 90 days is a great yep. business. We're going to have to change that. But. Well, I, I don't know. I, I, I'll give you this. This might work. I mean, it caught my attention, so I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. I don't know why, but <laughs> I kind of dig it. You all messed up from the stabbing. I'm assuming your girlfriend that you're yeah. exploiting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Your body that you're whoring out. You in a dress? That's an ad. It's so you are from California. <laughs> This is proof of that. Are you but, seriously from California? Yeah, actually, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out pretty perfect right there. Bro, I never want to hear again that stereotypes aren't true. I had your ass <laughs> pegged from the beginning. All right, well, just know that there's a reason why we think y'all are Nancy boys over here in Florida. <laughs> I am okay. the problem. <laughs> this is Florida, and we know, we know we can smell a Californian with their little man bun perfume little yeah. satchel you guys had it's dress a, wearing, actually apparently. a purse so do we, we got any views on this stuff nah my my organic game is pretty pretty Bro, bad. i'm gonna tell you right now if i want to kill procrastination i'm not learning it from this dude i'm just being honest <laughs> okay this is not this is not selling me all right now that i've looked at everything i'm gonna give you some advice and i am going to give you a 30-day plan of what to do before i give you your pitch actually mm -hmm. you're gonna get extra from me today you're gonna get two Ooh, pitches okay like you're gonna get a facebook ad and you're gonna get like an actual vsl or just a standard pitch that you could use right okay so in your ads what you need to do is you need to pick make a list grab grab a piece of paper okay and make a list of 10 issues that a that your dream client would lay away in bed at night and think about so one of them might be Employees not getting stuff done. Getting distracted because you're running around managing employees that aren't getting stuff done. Being behind on your taxes or your accounting because you're too busy. Not spending time with your family and not being a present father because you're too busy. Why are you too busy? Why don't you have enough time to do this? Well, because you're not getting stuff done. If you got stuff done, you'd have time. So make a list. Start each one of your Facebook ads out with talking about a certain pain point. Then talk about the root of like, are you having this problem? Here's the root cause. Here's where to go next to get it solved to the webinar. Mm -hmm. Cycle through all 10 of those. Okay. The ones that do the best, make more of those, go deeper, attack them from a different angle. You can make 50 different ads talking about employees 
uh, not getting stuff done. Gotcha. Now, here's, here's your general pitch. All right, here we go. Are you a business owner that knows if you or your staff were more productive, you would have much more revenue? Are you in a business that if you got more things done, your revenue would skyrocket? If so, the next 30 seconds could change your life. My n name is Adam Lucero, and I'm going to show you in the next few minutes how you can eliminate lack of productivity. You can eliminate going home to your son or daughter and realizing that tonight is yet another night you are not going to be a present father because you're just too busy. And look, why are you too busy? You're too busy because the level of productivity that you want to be at, you are simply not there. If you were there, then you wouldn't be busy because you'd be getting done what you needed to get done. Look, every business owners know that productivity is profit. The more productive you are, the more profits you have. The more employees you have that aren't getting stuff done, the more it eats up the cost of doing business. The less employees you have that get the most done, the less of an HR bill you have. Why do you think SEAL teams are so effective? SEAL teams have a maximum of six highly effective men that conduct a mission. Did you know that a SEAL team of six is more effective than a platoon of 50 people? Why? Because SEALs are the most effective soldiers. They go through a training that weeds out the ones that are not as effective. They are not elite. And when you find the elite, you can put them in a small team of six and they will outperform a team of 50 mediocre soldiers. Why? Because they are the top of the top of the top of the top. What this proves is that the more productive you are, the less of you is required. And wouldn't it be amazing if not only did you need less employees, but you needed to give less of yourself to your business. If you had more of yourself to give to your family. For instance, John here, who I worked with, was in a business where he sold XYZ. We went in, we worked with him, we worked with his employees, and 90 days later, after implementing our proven productivity strategies, and operational tweaks, they increased their reven revenue 80%. Imagine if you could even increase your revenue 20% and with less of employees and less of yourself. What would that do for your business? Click the link below and we will show you the three core things that if you change them now, you can get an immediate result and an immediate ROI out of both yourself, your employees, and have some left over for your family. Click that link right now and go check out the training. That was really nice. <laughs> I was eating that up. Now think about this. If I'm some schmuck who doesn't make any money, right? And, and look, I was that schmuck. I was mm -hmm. that schmuck. I was the schmuck that didn't make any money and I was on the come up. Or I wasn't yet on the come up and then I did make some money and then I was on the come up and then I hired employees mm -hmm. and blah, 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 blah. When I was the schmuck, I was like, oh my God, willpower, you know, procrastination, <laughs> all right? But when I had a business, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking, why can't these people get things done? I'm mm. so busy dealing with this crap, I can't focus on my son. He wanted me to go play baseball with him today, and I can't because if I don't do this thing over here or fix this problem or interview this new person because my mm. other person sucked, things are going to fall apart. And as a man, I prioritize taking care of my son financially putting food on the table, but then I don't take care of him emotionally, and 18 years later, he's going to wind up in jail, hating me, or he's going to wind up with purple hair, and he's going to move to California, and he's going to change his pronouns. Why? Because I didn't pay enough attention to him as a kid, and then some other father is going to come in, and he has purple hair, and he's going to tell him that that's actually completely normal, and it's okay, and then he's going to stick hormones in him, and my whole life's going to fall apart, <laughs> all because I did not become more productive. All right? Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want that to happen. <laughs> That's my pitch. Uh, anyway, does that make sense? Do you have any questions? Yeah, no, it makes total sense. Everything you've said today brought just this fresh perspective in there. I'm excited to get these changes going. You got me thinking big. I like it. Email me back in 30 days. So listen, I'll leave you with this. I've gotten several emails in the past week from people mm -hmm. that I had on 30 days ago with this show. Mm -hmm. And they went from like negative money to making mm -hmm. like 12 grand a month profit in yep. 30 days. And I've had yep. other people blowing up. I got a guy that's his whole sales calendar is booked from what he learned on this show. Don't be the guy that doesn't email me. Email me yep. in 30 days. Let I gotcha. me implement and let me know what happens. All right, brother? Awesome. Sounds good.